a truly global financial center really have to do more than pricing equity. Equity tend to be a local product with the local companies. And uh, but, so all exchanges and all financial centers usually started with pricing companies, pricing people, or pricing you know, um, equity. And, uh, but when you become globally more relevant and with a gro global significance, you really need to be able to price commodities, pricing goods. Ultimately, you, know, you also need to be pricing um, money, which is currency, which is interest rate and exchange rate. So we are now, obviously, we have been very successful over the last 20 years, essentially bring Chinese product out to Hong Kong with international investors. The Connect allow us to bring Chinese investors out of China as well and to bring international investors into China. So that really complete many of the dimensions of equity development that we have. And we are now, while we continue to enhance that, including possibly launching Shenzhen Connect at some time in the future and enhancing the two connects in a number of dimensions, but we are also you know, moving very solidly into pricing goods, which is commodities. We obviously acquired London Metal Exchange. Now we, are built, now we have Shanghai Hong Kong Connect. We have just announced London Hong Kong Connect. This is really allowing us to be able to operate as a financial center, as a pricing center, in, a very, in an area where China plays a huge important role, that is in commodities. So, you know, if we are able to potentially apply the key principles of Shanghai Hong Kong Connect into a possible future commodity connect of some sort, that will allow us to truly help China achieve the pricing power that it deserves now that it is one of the largest producers and largest consumers of almost all bulk commodities. So I think, uh, uh, you know, the Shanghai Hong Kong Connect really allow us to move into those areas with greater confidence. Obviously, when you have commodities, that will be a great vehicle for renminbi to internationalize, you know, on the commodity, in the commodity arena, you know, whether we're trading commodity dominant in RMB, clear them in RMB, using margin funds in RMB, and all of that will allow us to be truly involved in the overall pricing of RMB in its internationalization drive and ultimately make Hong Kong a center for pricing money as well and backed by the RMB internationalization. So over time, we are hoping, hopeful that Hong Kong will become of extremely successful pricing center for China equities and for international equities with the Chinese participation on liquidity. And then using that as an important you know, foundation to develop into commodities and ultimately in fixed income and currency. And that will really make us into a full-blown you know, and truly globally relevant exchange and allowing Hong Kong to serve its, to allow Hong Kong to fully leverage its dual identity of being the international center for China, the China center for international, and that dual identity is the core strength of Hong Kong, and we are hoping that the exchange, everything that we're doing at the exchange is helping enhance that positioning.